Hey, what's up guys? Jake or VFX Edits, and today I'm doing a quick tutorial on how to add a flag overlay to the logo like you see here. I apologize for being inactive lately, but uh, I've been busy and I just sprained my foot. I guess I got back from the hospital, so yeah, kind of show. I've been up to a bunch of crazy stuff lately and I've been pretty busy. So uh, let's just uh, do this real quick. Go ahead and get your Cinema 4D logo, drag it into Photoshop. I recommend that you have a gradient behind it, uh, so that way it looks a little bit nicer, and I recommend that you know you make your own. Do color correction, make it however you feel. And go ahead and add your logo, size it however you feel, place it down. I'm using CS6, by the way, you can do this on any Photoshop, it does not matter. But uh, I, I prefer to use CS6 over CS5. Go ahead and find your flag, drag your flag in, and just make sure it covers. It doesn't need to be, you know, perfect. It doesn't need to completely be, like, the same aspect ratio. It can be longer this way or longer that way, it really doesn't matter. Just make sure everything's covered. Go ahead and place that down. Right click on your flag and go to create clipping mask. And what this is going to do is basically going to mask everything out that isn't consumed by the layer below it. Then what you're going to do is you're going to right click and go to blending options, blend mode, and overlay. And what that's going to do is it's going to pretty much do the flag thing. If you don't like that you think it's a little too dark, I recommend then you go to blending options again and lower the opacity. I wouldn't recommend going any below, anywhere below 80 like I have here. I'd recommend probably like 92 uh, is usually what I use, I'll just type it in so that way. And I think that looks nice, you get a little bit of the reflection, you get a little bit of the shadowing, but you also get a lot of the flag. And I think that's nice, and that's a pretty simple tutorial, so I hope this was helpful. Uh, if it was, leave a like, if you really, really like it, go ahead, and you like you want to watch it again, go ahead and leave a favorite, that's really accepted. If you like the tutorials, and you like to see edits, and GFX, and speed arts, and that kind of stuff, go ahead and subscribe. And yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Hope this was helpful. If it was not, I apologize. Go ahead and leave me a comment about how much you hate me. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I will see you guys later. And my mouse will not move, so... Oh, there it goes. Alright, now I'll see you guys later.